Everybody. Today I am uh, putting stuff on eBay and I keep talking about that but I never show you what I'm doing. So today I'm actually going to go through all the process of what I do to put an item on eBay. And today I'm just going to put on this, this portable DVD player. I will go through the process of what I do, not necessarily the best way to do it. Just give you an idea of how, that's how long it takes to uh, put a single item in. Uh, if there's shortcuts, let me know. Okay, so here I am on eBay, and the first thing I want to do before I post anything is uh, actually look for this this model. This is a Panasonic model number DVD-LS850. Put that in and see what comes up. Things. Okay, so now here is our first Panasonic DVD player, just like mine, and they're asking $84.99 for it with free shipping which is pretty cool now I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna let it go as an auction item I'm not gonna put an buy it now it sits forever if you do a buy it now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on for uh, a, a starting bid of a dollar now that might sound crazy but uh, if someone's actually interested in the, uh, this thing it'll you'll get a lot of attention because uh, the lower you start it at the more excited people will get and then uh, I've noticed that if you started at let's say I was just going to sell it for twenty dollars it you might not get any attention but once people are are bidding on it 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 starts a war and this is a whole psychological thing and here we go I get first thing I want to do next is photograph this thing find a box to put it in then I'm going to have to measure and weigh it and uh, I'll need all that information before I can uh, list it. Okay, when Val and I had a eBay store, we bought this, this photo booth. It's, uh, it's really cool. The only, my only complaint is, well, it's kind of cheap. It was not the top quality. It's a little on the small side, but it does, it does the trick. So what it does is we have this lights shining through this fabric and, and it gives an ambient light instead of the, a flash which will have a, a bright spot in the middle or shiny spot. It, it gives a more professional look to it. Now it's, we've got a fabric in the back that's not in the greatest shape but I, you know it's not a big deal. We're not professionals. So the only thing that I don't like is they gave you lights for both sides but it really needs one on top and it's designed to have one on top so I, I'm using one of our photo lights to put on top and we're going to take some pictures of this make sure that you include everything that comes along with it that's going to have a case and the car item and the charger and also very important that you put a DVD in it to make sure that everybody realizes that it works and so since uh, Jurassic Park is uh, coming out I might as well throw in one of our old Jurassic Park DVDs Yay! So there we go. So I'm going to wait until it has a menu screen and I'll use that to, to take pictures. Warning! Okay, so I know the lighting here is really bad for uh, videotaping, but uh, you, could, you could still see what I'm photographing. Uh, I got this light is going to go on top. It's not real heavy, which is really cool. And I could change the intensity of that. And you can still see the computer screen. Whatever you do when you, you're photographing, do not use the flash, or you'll, you'll just completely blank out the screen. I'm using my other um, video camera, which takes great photographs. And you get an almost professional look. Okay, so the next step is finding a box for the item, and that's always where my biggest problem is in selling items. What I have been doing is I've been saving all of my Amazon purchase boxes. So this is an old Amazon box. You gotta make sure that it doesn't say Amazon on it anywhere. 
and the, the tape says Amazon on it and I actually have some brown tape uh, so I could just easily go over that so no one could see that that's what I would do make sure you take off all these scan things because that will confuse everybody and I think this box is going to fit what I, I wanted to do the, you want to have the smallest box that you can get that where it's going to ship safely I think this is all fit in there what I'm going to do next is put everything in there put packing in there and and then I'm gonna weigh it and, and that's the next big thing especially for a $12 item been very happy with this um, it's probably more than that now because that was probably about 10 years ago so zero that out we're gonna put this on top now one of the problems of course is now I can't see the readout but there's a hold button I'm just gonna hit hold and I can take it back off and there it is, four pounds and 8.8 .8 ounces. So I'm gonna write that on the box because I have zero memory. Four pounds, 8.8 .8 ounces, then I measured a box and that's ready for shipping. Here's my account. Um, so on the top of this, you'll see a word that says sell. That's where we're going. And it, if you haven't signed in already, it'll ask you to sign in. If not, you're gonna have to um, register you're gonna have to put all your accounting information in there oh, I just typed in Panasonic DVD LS 850 and it just popped right up obviously this has been sold quite often and so I just click on that and there it is exactly what I'm selling it's it gives you all the information you don't have to type anything in brand type model Plays tells you everything about it, um, so it gives you a title. It uh, you have to pay for a subtitle. Conditions important, so it's going to be uh, used. Okay, so they include a picture of the item from uh, from Panasonic, but um, you can also add your own, which is what I'm going to do because everybody wants to see the actual object. So I'm going to click add edit photographs and but it says click on add photo and they'll open up my photo alright so here's all the photographs I took they came out pretty good so there we go and I'm gonna save and there's my photographs I gotta make sure there isn't more than 12 of them or I get charged extra so I'll count those and move on. Okay, so in the description section, in the details, I wrote, this is a gently used Panasonic LS850 portable DVD slash CD player with working battery, Panasonic case and charger. Works great. Bidding starts at $1. Happy bidding. And yes, I'm starting it at a dollar. Most of mine started at dollar. I'm going to start the price at $1. I'm just gonna have an automatic buy it now. I'm not gonna put it buy it now. Seven days your duration. Okay, so the payment is going to be through PayPal. Calculate cost varies by location is what I pick. So I'm using USPS. This truck it's gonna be parcel post. I'm handling time means how long before I get off my butt and ship it. So two business days is not bad, and I'm charging them two bucks uh, just because uh, you know I spent all this time doing it. So that's for my labor. I don't know. So cost of boxes, cost of tape, that kind of thing, and you can change that if you want. And it's going to be calculated depending on the the uh, weight and dimensions. And here are my dimensions. I'm going to list my item now. Boom. And there it is. Congratulations, you've listed an item for sale. And if I click on this, there it is. And there's my first picture that we took earlier. Starting bid. And I can change the pictures. Looks nice. And there it is. 
So there it is. It's listed. If you want to see it, um, all you have to do is probably just either search the Panasonic DVD LS850 portable DVD player, or you can just look for um, my account, which is um, Celt40. 100% positive feedback. Yeah.